and stronger. Uh, we good, talked a lot good morning, about everybody. I am going to be doing just some pulls on eggs that I have, see if I can strike luck and get a Gilgamesh. Don't know if it'll happen or not, but I'm going to do it real quick before I've got to work today. So I've got a few hundred uh, eggs I'm going to go ahead and hatch through. Grab my Miho Award. I did already do the Gilgamesh dungeon. It's actually really funny because I can't show it to you because I didn't record it. Um, but they reference the Gilgamesh from the Fate Stay the Night series. And they mention that they might get sued. And then Sarah says, okay, well, maybe we won't get sued. But then they, they sort of let that go to rest. But the, the reference was very much that he wears golden armor. He's an ass. And he can pull unlimited weapons out of gates from behind him to attack with. It was actually quite amusing. Um, not the same Gilgamesh that we have in the game, though. But let's do... Nope, not here. That would be silly. Let's do my eggs. Because I only have 6,200 Astro Gems currently. So, incubators. I think I can do two at a time. And then I've got a clear space out. So, the goal is to see if I can get a five-star with 200-plus eggs. There's a four-star. I'll make a little bit more space in my stash after this pull so I can do three at a time. No four stars, no five stars. And you know what? During the festivals, you get better chances for fours and fives. But you still have a chance to get a five star normally, so I'm going to try. If I can get my monsters to open up so I can clear space. Knox has been really slow lately. Unfortunately for this recent uh, storage, recent, I actually just go through and melt the majority of these guys. The only ones really that I'm going to be keeping are uh, sea stars, because I'm still working on making more dark stars. Okay, so I need to actually dump four back across. That's one. Can I just toss over to the side for the moment? We can toss him. And her. Else will I drop across? I need one more to toss across that I'm not currently using for anything. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Can't toss him because he's on trips. I guess I'll toss him for the moment. Okay, so now I can do three pulls at a time. So I do have Jimmy Kimmel running in the background listening to his monologue from last night. Okay, so got a C star out of that.
Oh, I skip all. It's because of time. But All right, so no five stars yet. So we're going to do another 30, three pulls in a row. And then we'll look at the Gilgameshes too before I go. That's one. They did, by the way, make it so you have a 100% chance to get um, the shards in the hero dungeons as long as you complete the hero dungeon with a chance to get two of them at the higher level dungeons. So, flip, 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 storage, you, toss you back across, these guys are melts. Here we're gonna throw these three across. It means I need to spend a little bit of cash to do it. Toss them across. Back again. Back again. Summon eggs. One. Four star. to see what I'm going to play next. Somebody has an iPhone SE review. So I'll let that play. Oh, look at that. Two succubuses on top of each other. Uh, only in MSL can you say that, and that's a PG statement. Hey, what is up, guys? I'm BHD here, and this is it. This is the new iPhone SE 2020. Pause that and listen to that later. All right, we got a melt. The two succubi that were stuck on top of each other will get to go into my stash. Ooh. To do that, I have to not select them for this. Actually, yep, C star. There's the other four star down there. Release. Grab those four, send them across. Back again, back again, summon. You notice I'm actually netting ahead on gold when you release a bunch of stuff. So one. No four star. So again, like I said, during non-Hero Fest, Clan Fest, you do not get the same hatch rates. It's been pretty obvious to me for a long time that that's the case. There's a five star. Holy shit! I got two five stars on egg pulls at the same time. Look at that! Look at that! I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot that. Snipping tool, snipping tool. We're gonna snip this picture because it's cool. Yay! I made a cool run. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting a double with a four star. That's two. All right, two four stars, two five stars. And that was in about 120 pulls. So I'm actually now batting ahead of the curve um, instead of behind the curve. Not a Gilgamesh, but all the same, pretty damn cool that I got that. Um, storage. I'll just go ahead and toss these guys right on in. This pull before I had no four stars. 
So I guess I have to complain that I'm not getting any four stars on a pull, and then I pull two fours and two fives at the same time. Oh, oops, forgot to grab all of them. Release those guys also. Okie dokie, back again, back again. Summon. I'm actually getting, I'm running out of time. I have to be able to pull, I must pull faster so that I can actually start my work in five minutes. I guess I could do pulls and drop them into my inventory, even though that's annoying. I don't like dropping them because then it's an extra step to get them out. Oh, it actually won't let me do it. So, so we will go take care of this. Those guys get to get tossed across. Flip, 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 release. Um, just because I am running out of space, I'm going to use this storage for some more space for the time being. Normally I just put um, upgrade mods in there, but I'm just going to dump the four stars in there also for the time being. Again, running short on time. Actually, no forest, no forest, so I'm going to complain. I should get double fives again, because that would be cool. I just don't expect it to actually happen. <laughs> I complained, and I got nothing. Two goose eggs twice in a row. Storage. Melt fill. Again, time crunch. We're just going to throw those across there for the moment. Summon eggs. I'm going to fire up this other lap or this laptop. How do my cats get their hairs on there like that? I just don't know. One, two. So in theory, the average for pulling 100 Astromons should be about one five star for every 100 that you do egg hatch wise. Um, I'm actually going to be just under that average because I've hatched more than 100 on these pulls that I've done and I've only gotten two. Granted, I've had far worse pulls than this, so I guess I shouldn't complain about it. Summon eggs. Skip all. the last date. Skip all. Okay, so I got a couple of five stars out of the pulls. Um, I don't really have time to do the other eggs at the moment, so I'm not going to do them. I will quickly 
as mentioned, look at the Gilgameshes because they're brand new and go over what I think of them. So the Nikitos, Gilgas are hatchables. Where's the hiding on here? Oh, right there. All right, so we got, oh, actually he does look pretty cool. I like that ax. So an ax, a larger ax, and I honestly, I like the first costume and the second costume better than the third costume. The third costume just looks silly with the puff shoulders, but this variant version. All right, maybe not as silly with the variant version for, for that. So the coloring on that does look better. Um, ability wise, 100% chance to stun for one turn, very similar to fire type attackers. Attack spirit leaders to allies hit points. Again, very normal type fire skills. Charging stance, decrease enemy's defense by 35 to 40%. That's gonna be pretty freaking amazing when people start getting that leader skill. Uh, and it's gonna suck against the high defense team, so bad news for them. Um, another water courageous striker with weaken. Um, Nothing, nothing un, unbe told about that. That's not bad. Persevere. Oh, that's interesting. Pre okay, this is gonna be an interesting combination. This guy for wood is gonna tear some crap up when people start getting. If if you don't take him out early, he's going to destroy your team. That's just what's going to happen. Light, courageous strike on the primary. That's nice. Um, with an attack up for the team. That's actually a really nice setup right there for light, the light Gilgamesh. And then dark, battle rush 20%. That's fairly standard for across a lot of the dark mons. Plus a self buff that ignores 90% of the enemy's base defense. Wow, so he's got Draca's puncture skill. And they've actually defined that, by the way. So Draca now just ignores, it's not all of it, it's now 90% of it. So they've defined that a little bit better for what the puncture skill actually does. Um, he is an attacker type. He should be an attacker type across all. Um, yes, I'm looking for the oddball boy guy. Okay, This guy actually looks like the fire, but with the variant. But the variant fire ends up with purple hair. Interesting. But he is an attacker. Um, it's probably, it should be an attacker across all of them. Uh, where are you as the light? There you are. Yeah, this, this guy does look like the Fates Day to Night version for the non-variant. Again, with the purple motif going on there. Balance for the light unit. Uh, I'm not even, I don't have time to look at the stats. I'm just looking at how they look. That's an interesting color scheme for the wood. The wood one's going to be, he's going to be the destroyer of water units is what he's going to be. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just what his job is going to be is destroy all water units. And he's an attacker at level 60 base, a really high attack, a decent defense, and you don't care about recovery. So all in all, looks pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed watching me hatch some eggs. I got to get to work. Everybody take care. Bye now.